Hello, my name is Jay. Today we're going to be using honey as thermal paste. We're going to be putting it on the system back here. We're going to be seeing how well it works. We're going to run a benchmark, see stress test it, and we're going to see how well it performs compared to the previous stuff we've done. We've done peanut butter toothpaste, a whole bunch of different items, all fans suggested. So if you have an idea, put it down in the comments. You can get featured, all that stuff, and we'll even do your idea on here as well. So um, as I said, uh, we if you've never been with us before, We've got a stock Intel cooler. It's pretty much the default stock Intel cooler. I wouldn't say it's really good, but it works for the point. Uh, with with this default thermal paste, we got about 75 degrees, 71 degrees, somewhere in there, flat off in about two minutes, and we test everything at two minutes. So far, we haven't actually had anything uh, running at full throttle, the CPU running at full throttle that actually kept it cool uh, for uh, more than two minutes. So we haven't actually found anything just yet. Um, Though toothpaste did pretty close, it actually got like a, a minute 40, I think it got a minute like 30 some seconds, you'll have to watch the video, it'll be in this, you can check out my channel for that if you want to watch the toothpaste video, that was the best one so far, and actually that was the first one released too, which is kind of funny. But if you guys want to check those out, those will be in my channel, you can, of course you can subscribe, that's what we kind of do around here. But anyway, so basically we're going to put it on an i5, this is um, basically just a simple system, it's got an i5 in it, I think it's a first generation, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, we've got a CPU cooler, and uh, that's what we're going to pretty much go through and do. Oh, and one other thing, this is not my build, um, this is a separate build. Somebody thought that I was doing this on my main system, and I will be honest with you guys, and this may be stupid to do this because someday it's going to end up tearing it up, but I'm not going to do it on my main build. I love my build too much. I spent too much money on it. Sorry. PC Master Race all the way. Anyway, so let's get into it. Alright, so here we are. We're back. Um, there you go. Um, let's get started. So, first of all, um, we've got some honey over here. Got some nice classic Busty Bee Honey. Um, so yeah, that's not branding either. Um, let me get this thing off, ready to go. Um, and let's just put some honey down there. So it looks like this doesn't have anything in there. Let's poke a hole in here. Let's see what we get here. Okay. So, let me just take this off. Put some, get some honey out of our little bee real quick. Let's put that down real quick. Let's get the honey going real quick. Let's just put that down. There's some honey. I would sorry to say we still need a little bit more. Let's see how much is actually going to go down on it. All I know is these things are going to be lovely to clean off. That's all I got to say. This is going to be lovely to clean off. Okay, so that's honey right there. So that's officially honey. We'll see how interesting this gets in a second. And now I'm going to have a screwdriver that's going to need to get cleaned. Like, literally, my poor thing that tests everything is now got to get cleaned. Oh boy. This poor thing has literally got like cooties. This is a screwdriver, at least. Oh well. Okay, let's put this back on there now. And uh, let's see what we got. So, um,. So there we go, we got that on there. Now it's time to attach the uh, cooler on there. Let's get this going, we'll test it in a second. So, let's see. So first of all, let me go grab this, pop these out real quick. Welcome everybody. Um, let's see. So let's put this on here as well. So, let's just drop that in there, lock that in, lock that in. Make sure these are all popped up. Let's pop these all up, and let's pop, pop this down. Okay, I think we're all locked in on both sides. I think. No, I don't think this side's locked in. Okay. Um, let's put this down. I think. Oh, there we That one. That one. Let's put this last one. This last one is being stubborn, I think. No, it's already locked in. Okay. Turn that one. Turn this one. And let's turn this one as well. And now we're going to get almost ready to go to turn on the computer, test it out, see what we got. Okay. So. Let's also, I think we're good, let me just plug in this real quick. And I think we're going to be ready to test the honey assembly paste. Okay, so now we're back. Let's see, let's get this stuff ready to go first. So um, let me just go get ready to go. So first thing, I've already got everything set up. I left the power cord plugged in. So now I'm just going to flip the switch in the back. 
right here. Let's see, and then I gotta turn it on and see how well it posts. Um, let's see, let's turn this on and post. Let me go real quick, do something on here. I gotta get everything. So it turned on, looking good over there. Let's wait for this to boot up. Um, let me make sure that I got the camera real quick, ready to go. So I was working some other projects. There I go, let's see. There, go. camera. Let's get that going. Okay. So here we are. Let's see. They're starting up windows right now. There we go. We're looking up. We got the honey it as thermal paste booting up the system now. And there we go. Okay. So we're booting up. Let's see what we get from here. And then we'll stress test it in a second. So now that we got the honey in there, well, let's see what we're doing. Okay. So now we're into windows. Let's go start to the bench, straight to the benchmarking. Uh, I forgot to plug in my mouse, as usual. There we go, put that in. And uh, let's just get over to the OCT and start testing the sucker out. Okay, so now we're going to start stress testing. Let's get this thing ready to go. So the record right now is 4 minutes 15, or four minutes 15 seconds for the best stress test whatsoever. So let's start this up. Let's see what we get here. I'll get a nice zoom in on here, you guys, for the temperature-wise, because obviously... Um, let's get a nice zoom in on that temperature as it kind of creeps up there. But as you can see, that's the temperature is what we're looking at right here. Um, so, there we go. Um, yeah, we're just taking a nice look at the temperature as we boot up with the honey as thermal paste. So, uh, yeah. I'm actually also streaming this right now, so I, I haven't done that before. But we'll see how it goes. So, we're already past 72 and we're not even 30 minutes into the, um, or 30 seconds into the uh, test right now. So, um... Yeah, we're up in 75 range. So what I'm going to say is, this probably does look like that um, it's most likely uh, that the... Well, what did I test? I test the chocolate syrup. Chocolate syrup actually looks like it does the best. Because right now we're almost already up into the 80s. And uh, that's what we look like we're going for now. So, let's see. So yeah, it looks like we're already up into 82 now. Um, and then it looks like we're up into... Um, yeah, it just looks like it's cooking up pretty well. We are a minute in, and there we're at 85, and it's going to kick off in a second. This is going to kick off in a second. Nope, 86. There we go. It's going to kick off. And, um, yeah, there we go. Kicked off. There we go. So, what did we end up with? And it ended up with a minute, 15 seconds, which is pretty much the equivalent of toothpaste. So, um, that's pretty much what we've got there. It's pretty much that equivalent um, of toothpaste. That's what the system ends up being. So let me shut this off, and uh, let's get heading over and taking it off. Let's get to taking it off now. So we'll see you guys in a couple seconds. Okay, so welcome back, everybody. So we're going to get started by taking this thing off. Um, I'm really interested to see what's actually underneath here now. Um, so let's see. Let's get let's get taking this off, see what we're looking like underneath, um, how well it's dispersed and such. Um, so let's see what we're doing there. Okay, so... Let's start taking this off real quick, and uh, let's see what we got from underneath here. Okay, there we go. So let's pop this off. Uh, there we go. So let's see how much thermal paste is actually on, on here after we've taken this off. So let me unplug this real quick. Here's the moment of truth, guys. This is my favorite part. You find out if you really fudged up or you didn't. And that looks like it did a pretty good job. And now, obviously. I don't want you guys, because some of these people that are, you know, watching right now might think, hey, that doesn't look like, you can't really see much, but it's there, it's just dispersed and it's clear. Especially when you're talking about honey, it did disperse well enough, so it's an accurate representation. Um, so, you know, obviously it's not going to do anything too much. So there you go. So we're looking at that right there, guys. And now i got to clear this off, which is going to be fun. Um, yeah. But there you go. So it's actually, this heat sink is still a little hot, too. But that's what we're looking at right there. So, um, yeah, let's let's move on to the uh, results, and we'll see what you guys got from there. So, what did we learn? Well, number one, honey actually works okay. Number two, if you're in a tight bind, I wouldn't trust honey with your life on your presses, precious horizon or Threadripper process. I wouldn't trust it. Now, taking a look back at it, I think, number one, I think that it was... A mess to clean up, which pretty much any thermal paste that's been on there for a while will still be. But I think it would, you know, same point as I made in the last video, is that 
there's been some better ones they'll be releasing that I've already kind of recorded for this whole week and I know there's a better one that you should definitely stay tuned for so let me know down in the comments if there's anything you guys think would be a good idea for thermal paste to try um, and let's see also I'm getting planning on doing a cooler series making some custom coolers including some things with different things as well so let me know down in the comments what you have to think about it and of course let me know if you have any ideas for things to try, as I said, for cooling. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate the channel. Helps me out. And, of course, um, you share it with your friends if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And, of course, subscribe if you like the kind of content I do. If you don't, then I don't know why you watched this far in this video. This is kind of a weird thing. Anyway, we'll see you guys. Okay, well, now I get to clean off. And I already tell Sticky. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's sticky. That's gonna be a mess as predicted to clean off. This is just by far an easy, totally, totally a mess.